So let us see our first program in Hadoop. Before that, we need to install Hadoop. We need to install Hadoop. We need to configure HDFS. There is a huge list of things that we need to do before starting or before even looking at HDFS. Now Hadoop is an open source platform which is developed on Java. Now Hadoop is only for Linux. If you don't have Linux environment, you can't run Hadoop. Hadoop doesn't work on Windows. Hadoop is an open source. Linux is an open source platform operating system. Hadoop works only on Linux operating system. If you are using Windows operating system, you can't run Hadoop. However, you can run Hadoop or you can run Linux environment in a virtual machine or virtual box. What exactly is virtual box or virtual machine? So you have Windows, you can run Linux or any other operating system within Windows within a virtual player. So for that first you need to install VM player. So if you have already installed VM player, open VM player like this. So once you have VM player, then you can run a Linux machine. It's like a different laptop hold together. So you are running a laptop, you are opening a laptop within a laptop. So you have to, uh, since we have to install Hadoop, we have to install all the other components. Instead of installing, I have uh, we have directly installed or we have prepared a laptop uh, virtual machine. We are trying to open that virtual machine. So this is the VM player is the player or the software that will help us to open the virtual machine. First you need to install VM player. So installing VM player is simple. You just take VM player, you just double click it and finally end it. So you just need to give the email ID. You are ready to use the VM player. Once you install VM player, then this screen will come once you open VM player. Now you need to open the Hadoop virtual machine that I gave you. So open this Hadoop virtual machine. So whatever you have copied, I think this is what uh, you have copied. So this is the folder that I gave you. You have to locate this folder. This is the start in for VMware R Hadoop uh, uh, software that I gave. So you need to open this. Simply again uh, go inside that. Then you will have something called VMX file you need to click on that. So from VM player you need to load this VMX file it will appear like this. So this is a virtual machine. So you have to go to edit virtual machine settings. So first you need to load this virtual machine from VM player then edit virtual machine settings. So I told you this is a laptop within your system or this is another system within your system. What should be the RAM of that system? You have to mention it. So depending on your RAM you can give the sufficient RAM to that system. So basically it depends on my original system. My system has 16 GB RAM. I can give 8 GB for this virtual machine. If you have 8 GB RAM you can give up to 4 GB. So minimum RAM space that is required for this machine is 4 GB or you can increase it if you have more RAM in your hosting system. My hosting system is Windows, right? from Windows I am loading this Ubuntu or Linux so from Windows while I am loading it out of 16 GB RAM that I have locally I am giving 8 GB for this system it will uh, it will be it is powered off the system is powered off it will uh, it will open in some time I when I click play virtual machine it will open before that I gave 8 GB to this system I am giving 8 GB to this virtual machine if you have 8 GB RAM try to give 4 GB do not give 8 GB because already if you are giving everything that is there for just virtual machine your system will not work so you have to give 8 GB for this uh, virtual machine I mean I am giving 8 GB you can give 4 GB if you are already having less than 8 GB space if your RAM is less than 8 GB so you need to upgrade it don't even think about loading it even with a 6 GB RAM this will not work so your system minimum requirement is 8 GB RAM if you have 8 GB RAM 
verify it first check it if you have 8 GB RAM then only load this if you don't have 8 GB RAM you can just stop the process right away make sure you have 8 GB RAM once you have it then you can uh, give 4 GB for this machine then you click on play virtual machine you then click on I just I copied it it will start opening it it'll say ok then this is the virtual machine that has just opened it will take some time to load it uh, this whole system now uh, is loading one more Ubuntu uh, Linux system within this one so it will take some time you don't need to install anything Let's click on remind me later so Ubuntu is loading now Ubuntu is starting now okay since Hadoop can't work on Windows so we have to run it on Linux so we are running it on Ubuntu Linux system so it is loading right now once it is loaded it will look like this HD user stat in for guest session go to HD user and type the password that I am going to give you type the password so once you type the password it will open here once you type the password you can enter the Ubuntu system so this is a kind of new laptop altogether so this laptop or this system already has Hadoop installed in it this is called Linux operating system it is Ubuntu it has already Hadoop installed pre-installed in fact all the tools that are required are pre-installed in it you don't need to install Hadoop you can directly start using Hadoop okay so this is what is called a virtual box so this virtual box you should get it uh, from me and then once you have the virtual box you should load it and then you enter the uh, password you will be able to log into this virtual box which is all the big data labs that we are going to do are going to be in virtual box we are going to move the data first inside this and then we are going to work with it so we are going to work with virtual machine otherwise if you already are working on Ubuntu then you just need to install Hadoop on your own because it, I don't want to uh, focus on Hadoop installation that's why I'm directly giving you a virtual machine which has already Hadoop installed inside it